Welcome to Quotable Teas. On this channel, we take the time to explain the background of some great quotes. We look at who said or wrote them, the wider context of the quote, and how they apply to life. Today's quote is, We make war that we may live in peace, by Aristotle. Aristotle was born in 384 BC and died in 322 BC. He was born on the Chalcidic Peninsula of Macedonia. His father was employed by the king, but his parents died in his childhood and he was brought up by a guardian in the family home. At 17, he moved to Athens to study at Plato's Academy. He stayed at the academy for approximately 20 years. He left due to climbing anger towards Macedonia. Also, Plato had died and the academy had been taken over by his nephew. This may have also added to Aristotle's desire to leave. For a while, he lived on Lesbos and studied the plants and animals there. His main advancement in science here was his classification of plants and animals. From Lesbos, the king of Macedon called him to come and teach his son Alexander. This king is the son of the previous king his father had worked for. And Alexander will go on to be known as Alexander the Great. Little is known about Aristotle's teaching of the future king. That being said, he is said to have encouraged Alexander to conquest. After this, he moved back to Athens and set up his own school. This was known as the Lyceum and was situated outside of Athens. His school held some of its lectures publicly, unlike the academy. The academy was a closed club. In this time, Aristotle wrote in great volume. Unfortunately, very little has survived to today, though it can seem like we have a lot. Most of what remains were edited and published by Andronicus of Rhodes much later in Rome. His most important surviving works include Physics, Metaphysics and Nicomachean Ethics. This quote is from Nicomachean Ethics. This work covers general ethics and what it means to be a good man. This is in the individual case rather than at the law-giving end, which we see in his work Politic. Nicomachean Ethics is named for its dedication to either his son or his father. Both of these men were called Nicomachus. This book was highly influential in the Middle Ages and was the basis for ethics right across Europe. The Christian Church especially took on this work and its teachings. It wasn't until men like Francis Bacon in the early Enlightenment that this was really shaken off. And then more modern ideas came to the forefront. The quote itself speaks to the necessity of war to produce peace. If we allow ourselves to be unwilling to wage war, then we will be made slaves to anyone who disturbs our peace. Also, without knowing war, how can we know what peace in essence is? How will we understand the value of peace if we have never been without it? In our daily lives, we may not have to go to physical war, especially if we are in Western countries. This does not mean that we do not have small wars in our lives and personal relationships. In our lives, war can be doing hard things. Like war and peace, how do we know how good we have it if we do not do hard things? In our relationship, going to war does not have to be quite so combative. It can be having hard conversations. These conversations require us to be willing to have conflict. This conflict we can then work through and come out with a stronger relationship on the other side. This strengthens the peace in our relationship because we make war that we may live in peace. If this has piqued your interest in the quote or if you love the art, you'll find links to t-shirts and other merch down in the description box below. If you want to see more videos on the context of some great quotes, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so YouTube will tell you when we post a new series of videos. If you're still watching, thank you and we will see you next week.